Welcome. In this video we're going to have a little look on how to use the image and process containers. We use these tools to apply either many processes to an image or a process to many images and even both. Let's have a look and see what I mean. I sometimes have to rescale my image so Pixite can see the images correctly. So this is what I'm going to do first. Let's open the image container and we can do this by right clicking on the empty workspace background. There it is. Just click on it. We need to load some images to work with. And to do this, we just click on the little file plus icon and select some files we want to work with. I'll just pick a few and open. We've now loaded our files into the image container. Next, we need to select a directory for the altered images to be saved to. And let's pick a directory. Did one somewhere? Here we go. Okay, so all the altered images are saved to this new directory. Here is listed the extensions to the file names that will be automatically added. And here is your full selection if you wish to change them. I'll leave it as default though for this time. Right, I'm going to get the rescale process. Double click on it. Now the trick is to take the new instance icon, grab hold of it with your mouth, and drag it to the bottom bar of your process. Notice how there's a little tick shown next to your cursor. If you get it wrong, it changes to a cross. We have it in the right place, we'll let go of the mouse. There he goes, working through the files. And what we've now done is rescaled all these 10 images and saved them to this new directory. We'll have a little look, shall we? There we go, rescaled image files with a date written on the end of it. Right, shut that down a second. You can do this with lots of processes, not necessarily the rescale, but obviously not all processes are suitable for um, multiple image applications. Right, let's shut this down a moment. So let's have a look how to apply multiple processes to one image. So this time we'll grow it in the process container. Let's say I want to rescale my images and then resample them to a larger size. So what we do is grab the new instance icon on the rescale and drag it to the new process container box. As you can see, it's loaded into the process container. We don't require the process on the screen anymore, so this can be closed. I'll go and get the resample process. And obviously, if you've got to set this to do your desired work, and uh, I'll upscale it by 200%. Again, grab the new instant icon and drag it to the process container. As I said before, we don't do this now, so we'll just close this down. You can move these processes around as you desire, or pull down. And as you can see, there's plenty of space for many more processes. And I'll leave it to you to decide which um, processes were suitable to be used in the process container. Okay, we'll load an image to work with. This is why sometimes my images need rescaling. When we comply the image container has an all, grab the process icon to the image. And it's been rescaled and resampled. Now cleverly we can combine both containers. Show what you mean, I'll close this image down. And I'll right click and open the image container. 
you've still got the files listed here as before and I'll leave that just for ease of use and I'll just select a different output directory so what I can do more handily is apply these two processes to all these images and as before drag the image container new instance icon to the bottom bar of the process container and if you're in the main image area the little cross comes up and it won't work you've got to be on the bottom bar and release and there we go If we check the processing console, you can see that it is rescaled and resampled all 10 images. A handy time saving feature of um, PixInsight, and I hope this has been of use to you, and we'll see you again next time.